All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the VRML Challenger Cup B. This is round five, and we're bringing Valor versus Animal House. On the side of Valor, we have 04, Matt H, Panko, Ginger Snipe, Bullet and Bulletproof. On the side of Animal House, we have Green Theft Auto, Eslipinski, Wicked Hex, Nolamite, and Steven. So we're going to be kicking it off on cargo. Looks like we're going to have the not so north objective. Yeah, it's a very interesting objective. We saw it in our previous match with Ember, where there's no real interesting places to cap. But if you do take that front area of the container, you can get a man in there to get the cap. And with that, we're going to be dropping into round one. Don't say that word. Don't say that word. <laughs> Bro, I actually made Jigglypuff on track. Oh, yeah, correct. Fuck it, kill me. Lots of pre-fire coming out, trying to prevent any crosses, uh, any of Valor moving up quickly through the main lanes. Panko and Bulletproof. Oh, Panko's found by Green Theft Auto as he tries to push through the center buildings. Bulletproof is still there at the entrance of the tunnels. Let's see if he finds any of the Animal House defense. Valor seems to be leaving Bulletproof out to dry as he goes on a 1v4 and gets punished for it. Yeah, those two really pushed up ahead of their team quite a bit and got severely punished for it. Yeah, I'm very surprised that the rest of Valor didn't quickly come up to try and support them, try and move forward. Ginger Snips, Matt H, 04 just sort of hung back behind the middle buildings and essentially let them go. <laughs> oh, and Matt H finds... Green Theft Auto on objective. Map, but they now know where Mad H is. Nolamite's coming in for the hopeful refag, but we'll see what he finds. Yeah, he's not going to get it as Mad H rotates off of that position, although not very far. For pushing in from the pipeline. Eflipinski finding 04 with PKM, leaving it in a 2v4 in favor of Animal House. That H is slowly trying to crawl up, uh, get at least within firing range of anyone on the defense. And Matt H able to get the pick on the Wicked Hex. It's hiding behind that little crate, and just enough was peeking out. The nades and flashes going out. Oh. Snipes in an interesting position. And he gets found by Steven. Matt finds Steven and gets the refrag. It's down to Nolamite and Lipinski guarding the objective. Oh, No Might rolls around the wrong way. Matt H is on objective. Pat out. Will No Might be able to... And he does. And he does. That was a very dangerous position that Animal House put themselves in, especially the guy on the objective. But they prevented the cap. That's why you always want to try and get really quick at those caps. And he definitely had, what, five or six seconds there to put it in and just didn't get it. That's so close yet so far. It's always rough to be on objective, putting in the code, and dying right before you can finish. Yeah, Animal House putting up a fairly strong one point. They had, what, two or three 
defenders remaining to one of Valor, so fairly okay. strong first round. Yeah, I mean, Valor really picked apart their defense. Animal House was doing pretty well, making sure that every death on their team was answered back with a death on Valor's. So at some point, it was a nice tit for tat, and the trades just didn't pay out for Valor. So with that, we're dropping into round two. Hex is doing a very aggressive push forward, almost doing what Valor did last time, where it's turning into a 1v, I guess, 3 at this point, but his teammates quickly come up to support him, and Green Theft and Nolamite are making sure he's not alone up there. A lot of really close nades. Ooh, and it finally... Nolamite. Oh! That H goes down. Bulletproof gets a kill on Wicked Hex as he goes for the res. Green Theft's going for the res too. He's going to try and make sure he gets kills first before it happens. And he finds Panko. Pinsky yeah, successfully gets up Nolamite. And trade between Bulletproof and Green Theft. He is resable. They. Matt still seems to be resolute in the back on the defensive side. Oh. Steven's able to pick up 04. It's all down to Ginger Snipe. Is that a cap coming out from Steven? That is. I mean, he's tab out. He's walking up there. Can he just sneak it in under the under the nose of Ginger Snipe? I think he's putting it in. <laughs> and there it is. Oh, bravo. Animal House with oh, strong he's... showing. He picked the absolute perfect angle in that situation to put that code in. Yes, that was that was actually very, very impressive from Steven there. He knew just where to go in front of that box to make sure he wasn't seen by Ginger Snipe. And there, there was a question in my mind whether he knew Ginger Snipe was there or not. But I, I think know, he assumed right? that someone was in there because they cleared most of the other side. And that's just... I mean, Animal House has been playing for many, many, many seasons. They understand that once you clear that uh, left side, uh, the side where there aren't pipes, the last guy is probably on the pipeline side. And Steven definitely used that knowledge to his advantage to just sort of make sure he's hidden behind the box and get the cap in wide open, essentially, out in the middle of nowhere. But you got it. That's going to lead us into the North North objective. Very similar, but also very different than the previous. Yeah, there's definitely some more nuances to this objective, especially on defense. You need to make sure you're guarding inside and outside of that crate, considering the uh, offensive team, Valor in this case, can cap on the inside and outside. So if you start running out of defenders, say you're down to two or one even, you're no longer camping anymore. You're running around that objective like a crazy man to make sure no one is capping or you die before the cap happens. So we'll see how uh, Animal House plays it, but all they need to do is win this. Hold their castle as, as it were. Here we go. It's a nice banner from Animal House. Yeah, after that cap, I'm sure they're feeling pretty good. One's outside tunnel. No, I'm not. Oh, four. Able to get a pick on the green theft. Ooh. Steven holding his angle and taking down 04 as he crosses. Bulletproof might be next on the table, but he does have a good angle on Steven, too. Lots of grenades, lots of flashes. Pinsky takes Panko. 
Steven down in bulletproof. Mad H on the wicked hex. And Steven confirms bulletproof. Come and get it, you bitch! <laughs> Jen just not pushing up the middle here. Will he find out Flipinski? A lot of taunting between the last two members of both teams as trades go up between Ginger Snipe and Lipinski. He's down to Mad H for Steven. And Steven knows where Mad H is, but Mad H does not know where Steven is. And that's that's a deadly thing when you're on the offense trying to push in. And Steven, as he should, rotates back to kind of better cover that objective. Oh, and Mad H is able to get a nice pick. Rounding out the round for Valor. Yeah, I mean... It, Steven made an interesting call on rotating around. It's, in general, it's a smart play. You want to make sure no one's capping, but unfortunately, he walked right into the line of Mad H, and Valor puts a point on the board. These two teams playing fairly aggressively. Uh, I think all the rounds so far have been kind of sub two minutes. And with that, we're going to roll into round four. Same objective, and we'll see how Valor takes it. No, I don't think you get Valor. No, no, they're going to pre-fire. They're going to pre-fire. Don't worry, Tom, they'll do it. We're going to see an aggressive defensive push or not. Evlopinski with an early pick on the 04. A little bit of friendly fire there. I think Matt H took a shot from Bulletproof. And Nolamite finds Panko as he moves up aggressively to the front. Steve Auto putting down heavy fire, forcing Matt H out of his position. Gets found by Steven. Minus three. I think Wicked X just put down some friendly fire into the yellow room. Wicked Heck gets the last pick on the Ginger Snipe. That's going to round out the round and the map for Animal House. Bravo, Animal House with a strong, aggressive show, taking Valor down with a three point lead. All right, so that's it for the VRML Challenger Cup Group B. Uh, can we get a shout out? Shout out to our sponsors. We got B Haptics, uh, HyperX, uh, B Reality, and a host of other sponsors. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for the Animal House Valor match. Both teams did wonderful tonight, and we hope to see you guys in the championships next week. All right. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thanks for watching. I've been Xandria, and I've been joined by my co-host, Snooper. Have a good night, everybody. Later.